the recent mutants that are, well, coming to the MCU now, um, because Deadpool and Wolverine is right around the corner. There's been 35 minute screenings happening in uh, other territories, and we've gotten some info, mm -hmm. but the recent confirmation by multiple insiders and scoopers now have stated that all the claims they made about the big shocking post credit scene are in fact not true and it's a throwaway gag scene that's what we're getting as a post credit scene so scoopers have said that the post credit scene that they scooped is wrong yes cool okay. so wait what now so originally apparently what they were saying was the post credit scene is so huge that nobody uh -huh. wanted to spoil it but everybody knew it and then, so the same as every Marvel movie since pretty like, much, yeah. Age of Ultron. So, yep. So the scoopers are saying a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah. Well, that's what. And now, it's saying, right? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's confusing me with like <laughs> double negatives. So like, yeah. Hey, what now? But on top of that, what we are hearing is that the film itself is pretty much like a giant uh, Easter egg love letter. You might as well try to scoop this but people aren't going to believe you there's so many cameos and shocking things so in one way look i don't need a post-credit scene of a film to be a tie into the next one because that's the only thing anybody talks about when it comes to a new it's film like, they yeah. don't even want to talk about the film they just want and to everyone about complained about it after a while anyway so exactly like it's like at this point it, for me anyway it's either going to be you know a tie into the next film or it's just going to be a gag with like yeah. Deadpool and Wolverine. Right. Talking to the audience saying, Why are you guys still here? Like, who was the who was the one influencer who based his entire Black Panther Wakanda Forever is bad because the Doctor Doom post credit scene was a lie? I was like, Are you serious? You're this dumb. Like yeah. <laughs> if that actually happened, like they just went and go see the movie just for Doctor Doom. That was their whole yeah. thing. They sit there, they're recording their reaction, and it doesn't happen. Like, this movie was terrible. It's like I hate I hate how we're at this point now. It's just mm -hmm. brain rot has set in. It's come on. Like uh, it's, it's already been set. It's like like sprouting flowers and <laughs> stuff at this point. I was gonna say I, it's so old it's got muss in it now. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna predict the post credit scene for Deadpool and Wolverine and hear me out. It's gonna be a castle and a figure walks in with a cloak and a dark voice that just seems like it's like hollow coming through an iron mask and he says so you were waiting for me he takes the cloak off and it's deadpool going gotcha and then it cuts to the black screen i'll say i, I was gonna go like it's deadpool coming out the shower uh... <laughs> wait did they do that in deadpool 2 no deadpool 2's credit was him going around killing all the green lanterns or ryan reynolds uh... I, can't... I remember him no, because they did the like Ferris Bueller's Day Out, right? Where he like peeks. Oh out yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I thought yeah. that was Deadpool one or two. I, I I've seen correctly. that. I've seen that movie once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, remember we watched it twice because we watched it for the audio commentary. And we were just disappointed the entire time. <laughs> we did, yeah. To be yeah. fair, we haven't done one of those in years, anyway. So. Yeah, and Deadpool two maybe did me in, so I don't know. <laughs> At least we got Blade 2 out of the way in time, so... That's true, I, yeah. I don't even remember Deadpool 2. All I know is that bad CG. Yeah. Yo, I mean, that's Deadpool 1 and 2. Uh, that's yeah. true. What if the post credit scene of Deadpool and Wolverine is Kevin Feige walks on screen and goes, here's your new Blade. It's Wesley Snipes because we can't oh. get it right. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're making those films canon, but not Blade 3. The, no. the post credit scene should be... The pair of them in a TVA uniform, uh, taking out all the Fox timelines. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. Then, like, oh, they get Loki, and it's like Hiddleston as well. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'd be cool with yeah. it. And it's like, oh, Kang. Uh, hi. Yeah. How if Kang was going to be in any movie, it's gonna be, it was going to be this one, but yeah, yeah. 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 Well, things change. Yeah, maybe they got a new actor. They still kept the scene. Who knows? <laughs> oh, man. it's. I mean, look, I don't care if the post credit scene is going to be disappointing because I haven't built up my entire expectation on it being no. a mind-blowing revolutionary thing. So if you're just going into this expecting 
we got to tease the next thing. I hope we don't get it so you're disappointed because let's get past the post credit scene makes the film. You know? It's... Yeah. Well, so let's get past the whole soups culture. Like, we don't need to be that reactionary to everything. Uh, yeah. So if that's your only thing, you're you're not a fan of it. You just like no, not, being they're a fan. They're, they're they're a fan of being right. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <sighs> so it's like people just like being part of something. That's all you're really in it for. Uh, yeah. So like, I was just thinking, let's say this entire film has all these great cameos, and then we get to the post credit scene, and it's nothing. Still, it sounds like that we're getting a finite ending to the film like this film is 100 yeah, percent ending in a yeah. satisfactory way and from what reports have said from the early 35 to 40 minutes screened everybody's saying that this might be the best thing since endgame but of course they say that about everything so I I say, it's been literally movies. every movie since endgame this so. is putting mcu back on the path hmm. everybody's forgot how much they love no way home i guess so yeah i mean yeah, yeah that, that came out on home video for a week and you know, that's the time when people got to hate everything, right? Uh huh. That's true. It's true. It's, so. It's streaming, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, this movie's bad." <laughs> Why is it bad? Because you you can't hear people's reactions, oh. and actors dare to stop talking for half a second, and it must be because they're waiting for the audience to clap. It's annoying. <laughs> Annoying to say the least would be yeah. an understatement, but it's like Andrew convinced. Garfield's entire acting shtick is long pauses in his dialogue. He's That's not true. waiting for an audience reaction. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I guess that's um kind of gonna bring us to close this up in regards to this discussion. Again, don't go into this film just banking on the post credit scene being a tie into Secret Wars because that's what we were told for three years. It like, probably will. Yeah. Let's be honest here, it's more than likely gonna tie into Secret Wars in some way, shape, or form. Right. But but, it's because they might make a funny out of it. Don't mean it's bad. Exactly. Uh, exactly. So no, it's a fun you fact: you're, you're watching a comedy movie. It's Deadpool. Uh, you don't understand. It has to be serious because it's a serious event that's happening. Oh yeah, because Deadpool. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, I suppose uh, we're gonna know soon enough. The film it hits in like two weeks as of this recording. Oh, wow. it, so it's yeah, around yeah. the corner. So um. Yeah. We'll definitely be doing a giant blowout and discussion about it, so stay tuned. <laughs> Deadpool's going to be the first new movie I see this year. <laughs> Whoa, man, that's wild. I've, I've not been to see anything. It's this really year, bad. I've gone more than the last four. Mm -hmm. Like Right before the pandemic, I was going all the time, and then, eh. But this year, I'm trying to like see everything because, mm -hmm. again, like local theaters now near me are running like, hey, Mondays and Thursdays, there's tickets for like $4. I'm like... At this point, they're paying me to see the movie, you know? Yeah, I can understand because around here, it's usually, especially with the uh, local theaters, it's like, you know, hey, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, there's an animation night or there's, you know, anime night for movies and stuff. And they're interesting. I mean, I, I mean, if I had time, I would go, but it's just I haven't been in a, in a while. Uh -huh. if any theater near me did that i'd 100 yeah. go but the fact that it's the same crap right. and it's like 30 quid a ticket oh. nah. yeah. nah. like, <laughs> like the only other thing i've seen now is like the locals and the um chains are on all the um delivery apps saying if you want oh, sure. their pop popcorns and stuff to get that movie experience at home you can buy from them that's mm -hmm. actually a really good idea 